Hey everybody, it's Kate. So I wanted to try to film uh, my first tutorial today. Um, I've been wanting to make some junk journals because uh, I've seen some really cute ones on uh, videos. And so I wanted to include some policy envelopes in my junk journals. So I went to look and see if I could buy some policy envelopes, but they were like pretty expensive and, and not really like cute or anything uh, and so then I thought well I'll make me some policy envelopes and so I um, got on YouTube and tried to find a tutorial and I found a couple but I didn't really like either one they didn't sort of they didn't produce envelopes that looked like I wanted them to so um, I said well um, I'll try to make my own and if I come up with something I like maybe I'll post a tutorial um, <clears throat> so here's what I came up with so I think they're pretty cute. Um, they measure four inches by eight and three quarters long. And uh, it's just got a um, <clears throat> button uh, and string closure. Um, and I've got a little bead hanging off the end here. So I think that's cute. And they open like that. So yeah. And so obviously you can make them in um, whatever color you want. Here's a pink one with a pretty little sparkly bead hanging off there. Uh, this is one of my favorites, the, um, the craft. I just love the way that craft looks with the pink. So anyway, um, <clears throat> they're pretty easy to make, um, kind of fun to make too. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys how I did it. Okay, so what we're going to need uh, are... Uh, this is my big bite. Need one of those. Um, <clears throat> this is a We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Um, you don't actually need one of these. I use mine uh, just to round the corners uh, of my envelope flaps. And so if you've actually got a corner rounder, which I don't, uh, you won't need this at all. Uh, I'm going to use my Cropodile, a white gel pen to mark on the black cardstock, a length of um, they call it craft thread, so it's like embroidery floss, only cheaper. Uh, a little small piece of pattern paper for your buttons. I'm using some 1 8 inch uh, recollections. Um, I want to call these grommets, but they're called uh, eyelets. Uh, and so that's sort of a tarnished silver color that I like. I'm using my 1 inch recollections punch. So I bought this at Michael's. Uh, and it's not any good, so don't buy one. <laughs> it's uh, kind of blunt, uh, it seems like to me. Like, it has difficulty cutting through one um, one thickness of cardstock, so not great quality, but it'll work. Um, also using my Ranger inking tool thing and some Black Soot Distress Ink. Have my bead there for... I'm not going to pick it up because you know as soon as I do, I'm going to drop it and it'll go places. Uh, so I have, like, a black iridescent bead. I'm using this uh, Elmer's Craft Bond Quick Dry Glue. Um, this isn't any good either. <laughs> so if you've got some squash, uh, squash, if you've got some squash, you should put it in a pan with some bacon. No, uh, if you've got some scotch, quick dry uh, glue, that would probably be better to use, but I'm using this because that's what I've got. I'm using my uh, Tim Holtz uh, centering ruler. Um, Ginger over at My Sister Scrapper calls this the Timmy Ruler. So I'm using my Timmy Ruler. Uh, I'm also using some one quarter inch Miracle Tape. This is from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. I really love this tape and it comes in all different uh, widths uh, on 55 yard rolls, which I think is great. I'm gonna use my Craft Pick, also from Tim Holtz. I uh, need a pair of scissors. These are nonstick scissors, uh, good for use with the double sided tape. Um, this is an embossing tool that I use to do my scoring. The um, bone folder, obviously my Martha Stewart, um, what do you call this thing? Scoreboard. And then I'm just using a regular old 8.5 by 11 piece of 65 pound black cardstock. But, you know, obviously you use the color of your choice. So the first thing I'm going to do is score. Um, I'm going to set it on the 8.5 inch side and I'm going to score at two, six, and eight. So again, I'm on the eight and a half inch side. I'm scoring at two, six, and eight. I'm gonna turn it once so that I'm on the 11 and a half inch side and I'm gonna score at one and three eighths and one and one half. 
and that is our top flap. And then I'm going to score at uh, 10 and a quarter and 10 and 3 eighths. And that's our bottom flap. So again, 1 and 3 eighths, 1 and a half, 10 and a quarter, 10 and 3 eighths. And so that's what we're left in with two score lines. Okay, so now we need to cut out the little edges here to make our envelope. And so to make that easier to see, I've got one marked here. So you're going to cut uh, off both score lines all the way around. So see, up this edge and then both score lines off. Up this ledge, both score lines off. This edge, both score lines off. Okay? So I've got one that is mostly cut. So here's our bottom flap. Here's our top. I'm going to put that to the side and just chop off. And when you're cutting on the score lines, you actually want to cut the score line itself off because we want a nice crisp edge. We don't want a uh, shiny, curvy edge from a score line. I'm going to just cut this off right quick. Okay. So there that is. All right. So now we're ready to fold. Uh, we're going to save these scraps. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over. That's some dust or something on my cardstock there. Okay, so I'm going to fold uh, the side flaps in first. There's one and then the other. The only score line we do not want to fold on is this one half inch score line that we scored on the eight inch mark here. So leave that one alone. And then I'm going to fold in the bottom flap. I'm going to fold on both score lines. So here's my first score line. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm going to fold, flip it and fold again on my second score line. So that it's going to actually create, let me see if I can get, get in frame, uh, a little small gusset there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top flap. Score on my first score line. Turn it back, and then I'm going to score on my second. Okay, so now we're going to use our tape. We're going to put the first piece of tape here between our half inch score line and the edge. We're going to put it right in the middle. We're not going to put it close to this score line here. Okay, so I take my quarter inch tape and get that on there. You can tear that, you can tear this tape, but I don't know, I think it's messy, I don't like it. Uh, and then, <clears throat> so that we did on the outside, and this on the bottom flap, we're going to put it on the inside, and we're going to put it close to the edge here. And you'll see why here in a second. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got our tape. Now, I'm going to fold in the flaps and chop off the corners. So I'm going to get my little uh, envelope punch board here. Obviously, you can use a corner punch like normal people. One, two, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the top flap. There's corner three. And I'm going to get it lined up. Corner four. So now we're done with this and get rid of that. So now we can see our envelope taking shape. Okay. So I'm going to turn it towards me and I'm going to take off this long piece of tape down the middle. And then I'm going to fold the other side on top. And it leaves like a perfect little seam right down the middle of the envelope, which is how a policy envelope should look as far as I'm concerned. And then I'm going to remove the tape here, the tape backing from the bottom. And I am going to push that little gusset flush with the bottom of the envelope before I fold my flap down. Okay. So there we go. It's looking more and more like an envelope every every minute. Okay, so now I'm going to use my uh, one inch circle punch here. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to line up the little arrow on the top of the punch with our seam. There we go. I see a little better that way. And then I'm also going to line up, let me see if I make my camera focus a little better. 
Okay, I'm gonna line up this little arrow on the side of my punch with the edge and this one as well because I only wanted to punch uh, half a circle. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> so now uh, we can make our little buttons. Okay, so the scraps we saved. There's one. There's two. And then, so two out of our scraps from our black card stock, which means there's just very little waste left off of one piece of eight and a half by 11. And then we're gonna need to punch two out of our pattern paper. There's one. And there's two. Okay, great. Okay, so now I'm going to glue our little buttons together. Well, before I do that, I'm actually going to ink the edges of this pattern paper with my Timmy Distress Ink. Uh, the core of this uh, pattern paper is white, uh, and I don't want that white showing. This isn't, obviously, it's not absolutely necessary, but I think it's cute. Okay. So get the edge of this one right quick. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'll put that back over there without knocking my bead on the ground. I'm just waiting for it to go flying. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my uh, glue that I don't like and I'm just gonna make a little circle. You don't wanna glue in the middle because you don't wanna gum up your crop, crop a dial with partially wet glue. Not if you can help it anyway. Okay, so there's one. I've got a little too much glue on there, so if it squeezes out the side, I'm gonna have to deal with that. And there's my second little button here. Hold it for just a second. Yeah. Ooh, see, I got too much glue on that one, so now it's like squishing around. Okay, I'm gonna give that one just a second to dry. So now, because I'm anal, I am going to take my Timmy ruler and I'm gonna use this to mark where I need to punch my hole for my eyelet. So since we're using a one inch punch, we're gonna take it down to the half inch mark. Ooh, let me move this up into frame where you all can see it. Uh, we're gonna take this down to the, let me refocus my camera here. Okay, now, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take this down to the half inch mark, and uh, then it, we're also going to meet the half inch mark on either side, since we're using a one inch circle punch, and I'm going to make my little mark here. <clears throat> okay, so there's one. And then the second one. Line that up. There we go, so there's two. Okay, so I'm gonna put my Timmy ruler aside. Um, actually, while I've got my Timmy ruler out, so I'm gonna turn my envelope over now so that I can make my mark for where I'm gonna place one of my buttons. I'm gonna leave about a half an inch clearance here, and then we're gonna line it up on the twos on either side because the whole envelope is four inches wide. Make my little mark there. Okay. So now we're ready to do some punching. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my crocodile on the 1 8 inch side. And of course it's got a little piece of paper stuck in there. And I'm going to punch right through the middle there. So there's one. Okay. That was the one that had a little too much glue on it. Okay. And then here's, oop. My second one. Okay. So there's our little buttons ready to go. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and punch this hole here. Gee whiz, this camera. Kind of crazy. Okay. So there's that hole there. Okay. So now. I'm going to move my 
scoreboard out of the way. Keep track of my buttons here. Now I'm going to punch the hole in the envelope for the second eyelet. So I took uh, the foot off the bottom of my crocodile, uh, my big bite thingy here. I'm going to move it to the 1 8 inch hole punch. And then I'm going to line up this edge of the envelope with the 2 and 1 8 inch mark on my crocodile. Okay. Let's see here. So, two and one eighth inch. And then we're going to punch right down the center of the envelope where our seam is. So that provides the perfect punching guide. Okay. Yeah, very good. So but there's both of those. Let me bring this back. So I think it's a little easier for you to see the black cardstock on top of the punch board, or the, uh, we call the scoring board. Okay, so now it's time for our eyelets. So I'm going to take one, <clears throat> set it in my little thing here, put it down through the hole, and then I'm going to take my big bite back, I'm going to set it over to the grommet or well, eyelet setting. And these two little pieces here have been appropriately set for the 1 8 inch, for 1 8 inch eyelets. And those instructions will be with your crocodile if you've got one about which little things to set it on. So I'm just gonna set that eyelet. So there's one. Okay, so now we ought to be done with our big bite. And I'm gonna set the second one. So now, um, I'm going to take our length of string here. This is, I may have said that already, but I think it's about a foot and a half. It doesn't matter. As long as it's, I mean, don't cut it to six inches, you know. I mean, cut it long enough to where you have a little extra. So I'm going to feed my string through the front and leave a little tail hanging out of the back. And then, I guess I could get another on it. <clears throat> okay. So I've got my string feeding through, the long part coming out of the front. And if I can line this up, where's the hole? Okay, and then I'm going to just stick my little eyelet in there. I'll come around to the back and make sure. Yeah, that looks good. So it should, should you know, trap this little piece of string here. So I'm going to flip it back over and use my handheld crocodile. Okay, this part gets a little, a little tedious here. I want to make sure it's all the way through. Okay, now. Okay. Now we've got our second button set. I keep trying to show y'all it up here. <laughs> Camera's down here. Okay. Uh, and now I'm just going to drop off the little excess string here. We are almost finished with our envelope. Let me move this up just a touch here. Make it a little easier. Okay, so now I'm going to string my little cheapo craft thread around. So I just wrap it a couple of times, whatever you think. And then, because my mamaw said to, I'm going to lick the end of my string and feed it through my bead here. Okay. And so I like to leave, let's see, yeah, inch and a half, something like that. So I'm going to tie a little knot. And then I'm going to tie a second knot on top of that one just to make sure our bead doesn't come through. Okay, and then chop off the excess. I'll leave just like maybe three eighths of an inch there. And there we go. There's our envelope. Pretty cute, huh? Not too bad, not too bad. And so, of course, you can make them. In all different colors. 
with all different kinds of beads. I just love, love, love all those pink ones with the shiny beads. And then maybe my favorite, the craft one. Yeah, so um, I hope you like them. Uh, I hope you like the tutorial. Uh, if you like the envelopes but don't feel like making your own, I'm going to list sets of them on my Etsy shop for, uh, for sale. Um, but if you do want to make your own, then there's how. So... <coughs> Uh, I hope it was a good tutorial. I'd love to hear some feedback from you on um, what I could do better. Um, but overall, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the envelopes, and I really appreciate you watching. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And um, thanks again. I hope you have a really great weekend. Bye.